accountability is something you only talk about because actually doing something would mean firing some of your cabinet and upsetting your comrades. So here's what's going to happen, Mr. President. Because you've shown that you're a president of talk and not a president of action, we are going to make it easier for you. Today, I've tabled a motion of no confidence, not in you, but in your whole cabinet in terms of section 1021 of the Constitution. If it's not possible for you to do right by the people of South Africa, then we're going to take the burden off your hands and let this house fire them for you. Because, because we cannot sit through another year of your talk while our country slides further and further backwards and millions more of our citizens fall into poverty and unemployment. So, Mr. President, you can either stand back and watch us take over your duties one by one, or you can let us help you break the paralysis of your presidency by pushing through your own reforms in this House. I assure you, as I've done on many times before, that you will find a huge deal of support on our side of the House to get this reform agenda driven through Parliament. When you assume to office, we want you in the same way we want your predecessor that the people of this country have not elected you to act in the interest of a small elite. We want you not to surrender this country to the Ruperts and the Oppenheimers who played a vital role in finding your lifelong dream of being a president of this country. Unfortunately, you did not listen to this warning and became a shapeless individual whose term was an important concoction of special envoys, uh, presidential task teams, and summits. You wasted five years setting up structures in which you placed your friends from the business sector to resolve political problems. You did this because you mistook government to be the same as running a company. As a result, our people's suffering intensified while you sat and waited for capital to rescue the situation. You now want to auction our auction off the country to the highest bidder by privatization of state-owned companies, and we all know who will buy state-owned assets. The white minority capitalist class that is at the core of your leadership of our people. We reject all forms of privatization that you plan to embark on and we will go to the streets to reject any form of privatization. We are we asking did. you when you come to respond here, please withdraw that thing that you are not going to create jobs. You have killed the hopes of a lot of young people with that statement. You have destroyed them. These people who are looking for government to come and rescue them out of poverty. You stood here and told them it will never happen. They rely on you. They trusted you. You came here and destroyed the hopes of the hopeless masses of our people. Shame on you, Mr. President. You have destroyed young people of South Africa. You have destroyed our people. Let's remove this ANC from power. 224 government officials or entities were referred for disciplinary action and 386 referrals were sent to the National Prosecuting Authority. Again, there is a single clear message about what is happening. But why is it happening, Mr. President? How has this level of corruption been allowed to establish itself within a government that is meant to be for the people? It's not as if we weren't warned. In September 2020, the Auditor General warned of the risk of abuse of the social relief grant to channel money away from where it was intended to go. Again, in March 2021, the Auditor General highlighted the lack of coordination and weak controls that left the relief fund vulnerable to fraud and looting. Honorable Chairperson, we need to make one thing very clear. There is no split between the government and a criminal network that infiltrated government. When you say, Honorable President, that there was state capture, you imply that it is behind us. But we are still living with its effects. That criminal network, just like those individuals who conspired to defraud government, 
was enabled and assisted by officials and leaders in government. Country. We have effectively privatized the country. We have, our SOEs are effectively privatized. The functions of ministries and departments have been handed over to the private sector. You have commissions of inquiries, panels, advisors, task teams for work that should be done by the government. You analyze the country's problems. You speak as if you are an economist or an analyst. You lack decisive leadership to resolve the country's problems. Yet, you want people to have confidence in your leadership.